friends. It smells so good in here today. I didn't buy these donuts from a store. I wanted to make some of my own. There was one little problem. I don't know how to make donuts by myself. So I got some help. Miss Kathy Sue next door made the donut dough. And Zoe's uncle baked the donuts. And finally, I frosted and decorated the donuts. And now, here they are. So many people helped make these marvelous donuts. And that's what makes them so special. Hey, do you want to take a bite and see if you like it? Here you go. What do you think? Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Luca. Who? Who? I hope you're doing well. I can't help but sniff a delicious smell. Yeah, Ollie. I made my very own donuts. Well, actually, a lot of people help make them. Making donuts is great. It's true. I'm glad you had people to help you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Wow, Stormy Jane, that is a really big ball. Do you need some help? Oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Well, wait. Where did she go? There you are. Oh, you went to get your friend Pepe to help. Thank you, Pepe. It's good when friends help, especially when you have a big job that you can't do on your own. In fact, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to hear it? Okay, great. This true story from the Bible begins with a city wall. That's right, a very, very big, big wall that went all the way around the city of Jerusalem. The wall was built to keep people safe, but now there were so many holes in the wall that it did not keep the people safe anymore. It needed to be fixed. This is Nehemiah. Say hi to Nehemiah. Hi, Nehemiah. When Nehemiah heard the wall had holes in it, it made him very sad. Everyone show me your sad face. Yes, very sad, just like Nehemiah. Nehemiah wanted to do something about the broken wall. So he prayed to God and decided to fix it. But he was just one person and the wall was really, really big. Could Nehemiah fix it all by himself? No, he needed help. On the count of three, everyone yell, please help. Ready? One, two, three. Please help. Do you hear anyone coming? Wow, lots of people came to help fix the wall. God is good. Say it with me. Who is good? God is good. All of the people that came to help worked on different parts of the wall. Some people worked on a gate. Some people worked on a tower. Some people fixed this part of the wall. So many people came to help. The people all worked together until one day, the wall was finished. Everybody celebrate, hooray! God is good. Say it with me, who is good? God is good. Nehemiah was thankful. God had given him people to help him. God is good. God gives us people to help us too. Have you ever tried to do a really big puzzle all by yourself? It's better when someone helps us put the puzzle together. Or have you ever had to clean up a whole room? When one person cleans up the blocks and someone else cleans up the crayons and someone else cleans up the cars, then the job gets done quicker. When we look around and see people helping, we can say, God is good. Say it with me. God is good. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? 
God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there is your story, and it's all true. God gives you people to help you. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! God gives us people to help us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. Oh, I just had an idea. I'm gonna give each one of these donuts to people who help me, so they will know I'm thankful for them. This one's for Officer Flores. This one's for my teacher, and this one's for Coach Tom. I can't wait to show them these delicious donuts. Bye. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107:1. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107:1.